I'm just really happy right now. Hi everyone, it's Carolyn from Hello Vintage. Welcome back to the Hello Vintage YouTube channel. Today we are doing a very exciting historical clothing unboxing for our special collection. I'm very excited to unbox these. I'm going to be nerding out over these. So I got this video idea from Abby Cox. We actually did a collaboration where I sent her some things to unbox and it was so cool seeing her reaction. Oh, oh my goodness. She does historical costuming and stuff like that and it was really cool to see her perspective and getting from someone who knows like the ins and outs of everything and who really appreciates them was really special. If you don't know, I am a total fashion history nerd. I love the old things, so that would be things that are like Victorian era and older. It's such a dream come true to be able to have an excuse to buy these. We have a special collection at Hello Vintage where we have historical garments, things that are rare, have special provenance, and these will either be going into my personal antique clothing collection or they will be going into the special collection upstairs at the Hello Vintage store where you can come and visit them and say hi and be like, oh my gosh, you're famous. I saw you on a YouTube video and the clothes won't respond because they're clothes and they can't talk. This is what happens when I film at midnight. I'm going to do my own unboxing today. I have three packages from the interwebs, fresh and ready to go. Without further ado, let's get started. This first one is a little bit heavy. And the best part is I don't really remember, I don't know what's in it. So I don't know what is in each of these packages. I have purposefully ignored the label, so that way it's more or less of a surprise when I unbox these. Um, the first thing that we have I started selling, this is so funny, mm. this past week I decided to start selling a little bit on eBay. I'm not usually much of an online seller, but there were a few things that I just thought would do a lot better at an auction style, and since a lot of the local auction houses aren't really like up and running right now, I figured I'd just like take a few pictures, pop them on eBay, and I guess they gave me this like starter kit, which, you know, that's nice of them. It has stickers and stuff. It has thank you cards. It says, your order made my day. I hope this package makes yours. At least they're as cheesy as I am. At least I got some packing tape, that's exciting. Well, I'm not trying to put a hole in our wall. I'm not using scissors because I don't want to accidentally cut any of this. For a second, we have a beautiful. <laughs> I can't do this, it's so beautiful. Well, okay, this is not my normal reaction. It's just usually I'm disappointed when I get things off the internet. This is a work of art. So, look at these sleeves. Ah, okay, this is what they call a wrapper gown. So, this is what you would wear. You know, when you're not going anyplace fancy, it's more of like a home dress, um, they would be a lot more comfortable. This one buttons up at the front. It's made out of a cotton. Cotton is beautiful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh. This fabric is beautiful. It feels really nice. It has a really nice texture. It's a cotton that has some thread woven into it to give it like a little bit of texture. It's almost like in an overlay pattern. And on the back, the back is completely ruched and tucked with some ribbon adornment, some lace, and it all comes down into here where it spreads out. Oh, oh this is beautiful. Also, I'm pretty sure this is the one that I specifically ordered because it's my size. 
It's really strong. I think it would survive a try on. I know half of you are going to unsubscribe if I do try this on. <sighs> I might have to. Don't hate me. Don't unsubscribe. I like you all. You're fun. You bring me joy. But I want this on my body. <sighs> Just wearing this lovely garment brings me joy and happiness and uh, this is why I do what I do so I can have moments like this. I'll go on to the next one. <laughs> so I always take off the tape and the sticky thing so that way they won't get stuck on the clothes. <sighs> Today's just wonderful. When I saw this online, the pictures made it look kind of like a, a gray, but this is like a beautiful green with some plaid. I haven't even seen the whole thing yet and I already love it. Mm, this one is, ooh, this is interesting. We have got ourselves another wrapper. So this would be used the same time of day, like same like at home, domestic use, casual wear as the other one, only this one is much earlier. So this one is probably from the 1860s, you can tell because it has these droop shoulders, it has the gathered waist right here. It's beautiful. Wow. It has a little bit of fading up here in the front, but that's okay. She's old. I have a thing for wrappers. Here's the thing. Story time. So one of the things that I love about Victorian wrappers is that they're made out of really resilient cotton. So as opposed to like some of the ball gowns that you collect that um, usually are made out of a silk that has been salted or weighted of some sort, those usually are shattering and they're really, really hard to display or to wear or even just to like preserve because the fabric itself is deteriorating over time. So when you have something that's made out of like a cotton or a linen and it's just like a nice printed fabric, it's sewn, it has a backing to it, these are super sturdy. So you can wear and you can display these. Obviously you don't want to wear them out and about, but just to like put on or model for a photo shoot or something, it's usually worn, like they're totally fine when you wear it with care. There's just certain things that you want to be mindful of if you're wearing Victorian garments or any older garment for that matter, even like 30s, 40s, anything like that. So you want to make sure that you don't have too many oils on your body. You don't want to wear like scented lotions or like slather yourself in body oil or something. It's not the time to put on self tanner. It's not the time to wear a ton of makeup that will transfer if you pull it over your head. You really want to be careful with how you wear these because you don't really want to wash these. These should never, ever, ever go into a washing machine. At most, they should just be soaked flat in like a bathtub or something. But the, f the less that you can wash these, the better. So you don't wanna get these dirty. You don't wanna take these anywhere where they can get destroyed. If you really want these to last a long time, which you should, because anyone who has anti-clothing should want to preserve it for the future. Just be careful with it. Like, you know, I'm not, I'm not a museum curator. I'm not going to hunt you down with a pitchfork if you wear a garment for a photo shoot or if you go to a special occasion and you wanna you know, wear a piece of history and show it off. Like garments were made to be worn. They're not, they're not meant to be hang up on a wall. You shouldn't even hang them up on a wall. You don't want the, the shoulders. On, on that note also, please, please, please never ever use wire hangers. No like the ones that you get at the dry cleaners, just ever. Just don't use them on your new clothes, don't use them on your vintage clothes. Never, ever, ever, ever use them on your antique clothes. That is something that would immediately kill all of your garments. So just, you know, quick tip. I'm very passionate about that. So anyways, these two, because they're made with a very, very strong cotton, they're backed in muslin or other different types of cotton. Um, yeah, these would be fine to just try on, just as long as you're careful. Another thing is that if you feel something tugging or if something's not fitting quite right, don't force it because you will break something. And then you'll either have to fix it or cry. I'm shocked with how beautiful these are. These both were much better than the photos. I know this one has a little bit of fading on the front. Um, it has a tiny little rep up here in the front. This is most likely because with these wrappers, you put them on 
um, from the front you would undo these. These buttons actually attach with hooks and eyes instead of with buttonholes, which is quite nice because then the buttonholes aren't going to tear and gape. When you have hooks and eyes, if a hook and eye comes off, you just attach another one. So it's a lot easier. It's also a little faster to put things on with a hook and eye, especially when you get good at it. Yeah, this is beautiful. Ever since I started watching Abby Cox's videos, I started looking at like the innards of the clothes. Usually I'm just like looking at it from a display aspect, but she has broadened my horizons to the inside and the outside of these beautiful little critters. I'm quite happy right now. So if you want to start your own vintage clothing collection, your own antique clothing collection, and you don't know where to start, a great place to start is through Instagram. Obviously, check out Hello Vintage. Our Instagram is at Hello Vintage Lovers. Check out the, some of the hashtags. So you can look up antique clothing for sale, um, vintage clothing for sale, hashtag fashion history. Um, just kind of like immerse yourself in the community. There's a lot of buyers and sellers on Instagram. You can also check out Etsy. Um, if you want to go really, really old I would suggest looking at places like Augusta auctions some of the some of the auction houses that specialize more in clothing sometimes you get really lucky and you'll find these pieces at like a flea market or an antiques fair or at an antique booth you really just have to look all the time it's not gonna lie even for me it's really hard to find antique clothing it's not easy they're not everywhere um, I've been doing this for years so I've kind of found like my haunts but every location that you're based in will have different places to haunt and to hang out and um, you'll get to know people who are interested in it and the more you put it out there that you like it the more that people will find you because they're like oh my great aunt Peggy Sue had her great grandmother's wedding dress from the 1800s would you like it it's never happened to me but I've heard people that that's happened to get into the community we welcome you with open arms thank you so much for joining my antique clothing haul this was amazing i am still going to wait for the third one i'll probably do that in a different unboxing video if you like these so let me know if this is content that you like or whatever you want to see we'll see you soon bye bye Ta -ta. it's carolyn from the future from after the video wrapped just thought of something so the ebay auction that we had put on with the 1860s dress that uh, all of the proceeds from that are going to not your mama's history which is hosted by cheney she has an instagram and a youtube and she does historical reenactments and she is amazing she's also an abolitionist and awesome and such an amazing advocate so um that money was going to her and you should also subscribe to her channel and follow her on instagram she's amazing so yeah shout out to her this outfit is brought to you by the storage locker haul from the video that we made before this one you should totally check it out as well as our other youtube videos you are so beautiful to me can't you see you can't because you don't have eyes but you have hooks and eyes <laughs>